What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the top five interior mods that you guys should do to your 2022 and up Toyota Tundra. So I'm currently sitting in our new Tundra. We have gotten a red one, if you guys haven't seen on our story. If we post this video before the other videos, then you guys probably haven't seen it on YouTube. But you guys will see plenty of videos later down the road when we actually do some exterior mods and other mods that you guys will get to see the outside of it. But for now, I'm going to show you guys all the interior stuff that I think you guys should do. Number one is going to be screen protectors. So I'm talking about all the screens. So one is your infotainment screen, the kind of glossy screen down here right above your climate control and the reason why i want to do this is because when you poke at it depending on you know how long your nails are or your if your wife is sitting in the passenger seat or if you're driving um you're gonna hit that with your nail and potentially scratch it up over time so that screen as well and then down here the very high gloss piano black um right here where the shifter is gets scratched up pretty pretty often just because things get set on it and it just the dust and then when you rub ac across it the dust scratches the piano black so there's going to be a screen protector for that and then lastly this is the no the most annoying in my opinion because every time i clean the cluster it always scratches it doesn't matter if i use a brand new microfiber rag or anything like that the dust that just sits on there kind of just irritates that when you to try to clean it so we're going to be putting one up there as well now let's talk a little bit about kind of the main piece so this is going to be the thing that you look at the most aside from your cluster so this you guys can kind of see here all the fingerprints that are on there and you guys can see how shiny it is so all the reflections, look at my hand, when the sun hits just right. All right, so we are in Leroy's 22 Tundra. And as you guys can see here, the screen protector that we have on here is an anti-glare. You guys can see from the reflection on the actual screen. And then it doesn't leave any oils from touching it. Obviously, if you actually have oil on your fingers, it's going to leave it. But the natural oils that are on your fingers won't leave any fingerprints behind. So that's what we're going to be installing on our red Tundra along with the cluster. That'll be just a clear um, glossy, that way it protects it from scratches. And then we have installed the same up here for the glossy um, screen protector. Leroy just got back from a camping trip so he has a bunch of stuff here so disregard that. Um, but this is something I want to ask you guys if you guys would be interested in. So. This here is not the high gloss that is normally offered. That way it looks like the cluster. This is obvious, obviously carbon fiber. So let us know if you guys would like to see a carbon fiber version for this area here next to the shift knob. That way, if you guys are interested and if we can get, you know, five, 10 people that are interested, we'll make um, well, we won't make it. Screen Protect will make it exclusively for us. That way you guys can purchase it at runningfortacos.com. But look at it. It looks pretty amazing. And the quality... And it looks pretty real, to be honest. So, obviously, look at all this stuff that Leroy has and all the dust that has collected after a camping trip. So everything would just get scratched on the actual black. Right here, however... This is just the standard high gloss black that is on this section of here. So that way that's still protected as well. But let us know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in doing this. Now this is modification number two on the list just because everybody has their phone with them at all times and pretty much wants it within reach. So this here, this mounting system is a non-drilling, non or no modification required mounting system. There is an Allen head 
um, screw that you loosen up, put it in between your vent, and then tighten that Allen head, and then it sandwiches right in between there and holds on extremely tight, as you guys can see. So their foam mounts are made to handle vibrations and go off-road and on bumpy roads. So this is the best foam mount that we have used up until today, and we highly recommend it, and I'll show you guys why. So it's a single hand operation. You just slide it in there, slide it over to the right, and boom, you guys are good to go. So just like that. And the other thing is that these have rubber padding on all sides, so that way, if you're not using a phone case, it'll be protected no matter what. And obviously, it's super sturdy, and you can run another one on the opposite side, so if your spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, wants to have their phone mounted and watch a movie while you guys are on a long trip or whatever, you guys can do so. Especially because if you guys watch YouTube and you want to flip it sideways, you can flip it sideways and then put it back just like so. And then it is fully adjustable. So if you guys wanted to loosen it up, move it way over here. That way you're not blocking the vent as much. You guys can have it over here. You guys can have it straight up. Pretty much however you like it, have it more towards you if you like, and then tighten it down and it'll be solid. This is modification number three. So this here is not what you guys would normally see on your Tundra. It doesn't matter if you guys have the wireless charger on your Tundra. Most Tundras won't have this option. This is a totally add-on option. My Limited doesn't have it. This SR5 didn't have it. But this here is aftermarket, but it does have wireless charging on both sides. There's a power button right up here, so that way you can turn on both. So if you have a passenger, they can use and charge their phone as well. And this is a lot faster than the factory wireless charger. So if you guys have a factory wireless charger, it would just be a single one on this side, but it wouldn't have a rubber piece like this one, which kind of holds your phone in place and it's not as fast as an actual fast charger. The only way to really fast charge your phone is with a wire or a cord, but this wireless charger is faster than the factory one. So to charge your phone, you would have to just click this power button right here, turns red, and then you just pop your phone on there, and then boom, it starts charging. So just like that, and once again, this is a faster charging wireless charger than the ones you guys would have. So this is why it's number three. And I always put it here when I get in my vehicle or I have it up here when I'm looking at directions or anything like that, that I'm not using the Apple CarPlay on my head unit for. So this is when I need to charge it and then it pretty much lives up here when I'm not charging it. This is modification number four. So this is for you guys who like to stay hydrated with your large water bottles. So I have a Pelican, I forget what model it is, but this is their biggest water bottle. You guys probably use a Nalgene or have seen one or a Yeti water bottle as well, but this cannot fit in these cup holders. So this is barely hanging at the top there and you can force it all the way down so that way it's sturdier but it still won't bottom out and obviously it won't fit on this one either there is a location in here though however right at the bottom of this if you guys wanted to set your water bottle here but as you can see there it just it's just going to move all over the place so i have a solution for this so here is the solution this is the ajt large or oversized cup holder this is the same Pelican water bottle. And look at that. All the way down, very minimal movement in that. And it utilizes the same spring-loaded pieces from the old one. Let me see, yep, it fits on both sides. And there you have it. Now you can use or put your large water bottles in the cup holders without having to keep this open and I mean, Leroy's truck wouldn't work anyways. He has a bunch of stuff in there. So he would have to literally move all his stuff out of the way to try to fit 
his large water bottle. And of course, you could throw it in your seat if you want, but this, in my opinion, is a much better solution and it's affordable and it's super easy to install. So you can't really lose. This is modification number five and the last one. So this here is a seat divider and it is one made from flat irons overland. This is a pretty cool and simple product. Obviously it divides the front two seats with the back seat. So if you have dogs that you put in here and you have a car seat cover for them so that way they can go with you and they put fence them to come over here obviously if they wanted to and they're a large dog they can jump over it but that would be a pretty um penny to pay with their claws jumping all over this but this kind of prevents them to jump over it also prevents things from rolling around so in here you can see there are pockets so there's one pocket in the front and another larger pocket in the back that Leroy likes to keep all his cords and stuff i put snacks in my divider so that way i can just have it ready to go you guys can divide it and put whatever you guys want if you guys have kids this is a perfect place to put their snacks put their random things put their tablet whatever um so really it can put anything you guys could or would put in there so that's that and this as well it's a very easy install you clip it to the headrest on both side and then the bottom just goes and attaches to the bottom of the seat so very simple install you can remove it whenever you want and it'll be right back to factory everything we have talked about in this video can go back to the way it was all right guys that is going to be everything for the interior mods of the third gen tundra that includes 22 23 and probably 24 as well when that comes out but if we get any more or do any more interior mods that we could think is pretty cool we'll let you guys know we'll make a whole separate video so be sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and we'll give you guys updates on the red tundra that we are currently building we got lots of plans for that so be sure you guys to stay tuned for that but that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are not subscribed, please do so. And we will see you guys in a later video. Peace.